There she is, like a thief in a night. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Night Night. Do your job. Knock him out. She needed to be a boxer. She needed to be an assassin. Because that's why they call her Night Night. How's it going, everybody? My name is Jazzy Guns. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Let's get back into this game. Rain Code Master Detective Archives. I said it backwards. Bring it back. Reverse it. But we are back. And um, I know it's probably going to be a long time before I upload this, but just know that I actually still do like this game. I know people are probably thinking, oh, she dropped it or whatever. No, I didn't. I just, I'm just doing a lot outside of YouTube. That's it. <laughs> but before I dive on in, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like for your girl. Follow me on my social media like stuff. And let's begin. All right, here we go. Here goes that man. Them flowers are dead now. So that means time is running out. Uh, he's like, do it right. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> hey, wait. You said I had three hours, huh? My watch says I still got five minutes. That's right, clock. You need to get your watch repaired. Oh. Oh, dear. The watchmaker is currently detained as a suspect. Uh, Just throw away that piece of trash. That How you detain the, the clock maker? You're out of time anyway. Oh, well, oh, duh. The clockmaker is the dead. I'm so stupid. I'm thinking of somebody else. Oh, my God. Take him away. Uh-oh. Wait. Uh-huh. Here we go. Yuma, I knew you'd save me. Yes, I would. I was the one investigating the nail man murders. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're the one who interfered with our work at the clock tower. Sure wow. did. I will honor your courage for confessing and turn a blind eye to that incident. Mm. You must drop this case. If you do, we will leave without pursuing any further action. And I'm not scared of y'all. That'd be the ideal solution for all of us. What do you say? No, thank you. Yuma, think carefully about this. <laughs> Solving the case is good and all, mm -hmm. but think about my well-being. Please. Oh, we're gonna do both. We're gonna Dropping do both. The case would end this peacefully. But still. Right. Please. Oh. Get my dad back from them. Please. I will, baby. Let's do it. You may be a trainee, but you are still a detective. Mm-hmm. Once you have accepted a job, you must finish it. And I will. I can't back down now. The mm -hmm. Neil Man killings haven't been solved yet. I will find the truth. Mm-hmm. Huh? Oh, you've said it now. There's no pulling out of this one anymore. Mm -hmm. The non deal is off. Oh. He comes with us. This is for directly interfering with our work and bringing strife to Kanai Ward. It's okay, please, you'll be fine. Please, before you go, please listen to what I've discovered while investigating the past Neil Man killings. Mm -hmm. You investigated the previous killings? Of course I did. We handle all the information for those cases. Now that they're closed, there's nothing left in the crime scene. Are you sure about that? I have no time for your lies. Hmm. Peacekeeper report didn't say anything about the cause of death. Right. All of the victims were strangled to death, weren't they? Mm-hmm. I suspect this fact hasn't been made public. Nope. How did you know that? How do you not see it? It's right there on their neck. So the cause of death was kept under wraps. I hope you see now. Hmm. My investigation is legitimate. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. They were all Please strangled. Let me continue. I will catch the true culprit. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know where you obtained that information. Hmm. However, it appears that you must be arrested as well. For what? Huh? You are suspected of espionage. I believe an interrogation is in order. Take him away. Y'all got me so messed up. I don't think so. I don't think so. Fight back, Yumi. What? Yuma. Please listen to me. <laughs> You carried away, rookie. Mm -mm. Worry not. When you're in trouble, say my name. Ooh, come on, come on, Halara, come on, Halara. Shall rush to your aid. Come on, night, night. That's right. Come on, night, Halara, night. Please help. Right. Halara nightmare. Let's go, night, night. Come on. It appears you require the and aid there she of is. a great detective. Uh huh. There she is, like a thief in a night. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Night Night. Do your job. Knock him out. She needed to be a boxer. She needed to be an assassin. Because that's why they call her Night Night. Let's go. Nice and fast. Oh, 
Clara, you came for me. Good job, girl. Yeah, as I said, I would. Mm-hmm. You committed acts of violence against the Yamaterasu Corporation peacekeepers. Mm -hmm. Not once, but twice. I sure did. But, sorry. I promise to give him a stern lecture after this. She don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please keep things on the down low? Uh, Mr. Sam, are you all right? Mm -mm. Who do you think we are? Oh. In this town. Look at, look at the man trying to still hold the, the microphone. <laughs> You are nothing but an audience. Mm-hmm. That's the right. Resolution is premiering now. The leading role belongs not to you or me, but to you. That's right. Me? I'm the lead guy here. Yes, step up. I've set the stage for you to solve the case. The time has come for you to risk it all as a detective. Mm-hmm. Expose the true culprit. I sure will. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, and here y'all are. Going on? Hmm. I don't know why I was brought here. Can I go home? No, you cannot. So that's what you meant about setting the stage. Hmm. I mean, Halara did suggest the real killer was among the people at the church. Mm -hmm. Now I have to point them out here? Hey, so let's Yuma, see. Are you sure you got this? Are you really... There's no room to mess up here, you know? Mm -hmm. Um... What do I do? Hmm. I haven't gathered my thoughts yet. It's not like I can just ask for more time here. Don't worry, Shinny got it. Yeah, I don't think so. Laura seems to know the answer already, so why don't you just pay up for it? And being dead? I don't think so. But that would waste all of Halara's efforts setting the stage for me. Mm-hmm. Ah, so you want to solve this all on your own? Yes, I do. If you can't ask Halara for help, then why don't you try asking me instead? Oh, here she go. You mean... The mystery labyrinth? Yeah. The peacekeepers aren't just gonna stand by and listen to your deduction here. They're Things not. are just gonna escalate, and it might even end up with more deaths. Hmm. Oh, no. And that's where yours truly comes in. Yep. We have the information we need from the investigation. All that's left is to solve the case with the mystery labyrinth. And we will. But Let's do if it. if I do that... There's always a price to pay. It's shortening my life. the true culprit... The mystery labyrinth created Whoa. by the culprit is destroyed. Shortening their life. But yes. Which means the real culprit will die. Too bad for them. Shouldn't have killed people. Uh, this killer's a total psycho who's already killed many others. Why do you care so much? I have no idea. Do you want to solve this case, Master? What about your promise to that kid? Why right, we got to save What's his wrong, daddy? Emma? If you don't hurry, the peacekeepers will wake up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is this nonsense about a resolution? I don't have time for this. Him rushing to put up the megaphone is what's making me laugh the whole time. <laughs> I will make you listen by force if needed. Oh. That is my job as assistant. Uh-oh. Well, you better hurry. Right. Or things will start getting bloody around here. Night night's gonna make you go night night next, Yuma. Uh, uh, Do something. Right, let's get to it. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, master, are you mentally and physically prepared? I'm ready to go. Yuma's always scared. There we go. Magical girl transformation. Let's do it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, girl. Let's do it. Get cute. Uh-huh. See the boobs jiggle a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Yes, queen. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> and I love that nobody what? else sees this but Yuma. Wait. Does Halara see it? Okay. So Halara can see this. What's this? Uh-oh. It has time... Stopped. Oh wow. The, the Halara. Right. Is moving right now. That's what I'm trying Yuma, to figure out. What happened? Is this someone's forte? Uh. Halara's in here too. Right. Uh, thought so. What you mean, thought so? You knew this would happen. Right. Master, you used your coalescence. Remember, your ability isn't a one-way street. Oh wow. So now she could see it because of that. Someone's abilities, and 
and share yours as well. Wow. That's Kalara crazy. Kalara wandered into the mystery labyrinth because of that effect. I think. Hmm. You're not even sure? She doesn't know. Who are you? Hmm. hmm. This'll take too long to explain. Plus, I don't feel like it. Exactly. We're not going through this again. <laughs> just, just get in. <laughs> I love Shinny. Even though she's the death god, I love Shinny. <laughs> what should I do? I'll need to explain everything, won't I? Hopefully, I don't have to. Can we I give her like a summary? A now. Right. No point in keeping secrets here. Hmm. Um, Halara? Let me explain. Do a little fast forward thing. Let's do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do that, do that, do that. Because we're not doing this again. And that's how this mystery labyrinth involving the nail man killings materialized. Mm -hmm. I see. So, mystery labyrinths are materialization of mysteries themselves. And the truth is encased deep within. Mm -hmm. I appear to have underestimated you. This is an amazing forte. Oh, it's, it's not, but. <laughs> it's quite a superhuman power. As far as I know, no other ability comes close to this. Hmm. Who are you? I refuse to think you're just a trainee detective. I mean, I don't know who I am, but we're trying um, to figure it out together. To be honest, this isn't my ability. Exactly. Before you continue, tell me, who is that woman beside you? My Shinny. Her name is Shinigami. I think the simplest way to describe her is that she's a guide for the mystery labyrinth. Mm -hmm. That's me! I'm also Master Scaricute Mentor. Mm -hmm. On to my next question. She's like, all right, got it. Right! <laughs> She's like, all right, got that. So, moving on. <laughs> you mentioned the Nail Man case just now. I had heard the rumors about that around town. Why are you investigating that case? Hmm. Huh? What are you talking about? We were just investigating the Nail Man case together. Right. The nail Man. We were pursuing that case together oh i'm sorry i was working you for you remember. right there was a young boy who wanted to hire a detective and you turned him down right i do remember you received a request from a child about some case and you ended up seeking my help the cost mm -hmm. for hiring me was five million five hundred thousand eight hundred yen oh but you remember the price though okay you remember the exact amount right but i can't remember what the case involved I do vaguely recall investigating something. Oh, is it because we're in here that she can't remember? My mind is clouded. I don't remember exactly what was being investigated or what was discovered. Hmm. Could that be... A side what? effect? It's because of the mystery labyrinth. Yep, that's what I the thought. The mystery labyrinth is a fortress protecting the truth, so outsiders usually can't reach it. Hmm. If someone did happen to wander in, their memories of the case would be locked away. So I'm truly on so my own, even though she's here. If you have a pact with me, you wouldn't be affected. Hmm. But I guess that part of the pact can't be shared. Hmm. This is the mystery labyrinth's defense mechanism. It makes sense for a vault that protects its treasure, uh -huh. the truth, to have a significant level of security. Yep. And yep. Totally not strange at all. Halara here sure is smart. Ain't she? Halara. <laughs> oh, don't yeah, mind that's... her. She gives people random nicknames. <laughs> it's just a Halara. Oh, because her name is Halara. Who are you calling Halara? Anyway. Since my memories of the case have been taken away, I will provide a supporting role for your investigation. I mean, that's all you could do, baby girl. I don't think you have a choice, so. Supporting? As long as we're in here, I will act as your assistant. Well, that's the same as our original agreement. Mm -hmm. That means we can't rely on Halara's detective skills to blast through this dungeon. Hmm. That's unfortunate, but it's still nice to have an ally. Right. Hey, master. Head into the mystery labyrinth. Mm -hmm. Let's do that thing. Oh, oh what? lord. What thing? Oh my god. Here we go. Master, and she said it's so seductive. Are you ready to give your life for the truth? Yes. Let's just do it. But why yeah. in front of her, though? I am. We gotta do this in front of Night Night. Lord Jesus. Here we go. <laughs> I always have to do this dance with her, but it's just it's just kind of embarrassing when I have to do it in front of Night Night, you know, another person, third party. Oh God. 
and then we gotta go in her throat and go get this thing out. I know Halara is looking like, what the hell is this? <laughs> I know. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> and she's like, ooh. <laughs> well, this world is just full of surprises. Ain't it? I assume that sword is used to cut down enemies, interfering with your progress through the mystery labyrinth. Look at you. You're right. It's a special sword that can interact with things here. Hmm. You better materialize the solution keys I got during the investigation, too. Yes, please. There we go, throw up. The prettiest vomit you'd ever see. <laughs> uh, that was a lot. Here you go. Uh, do you have to vomit them out every time? I think she does, yeah. What? Should I use a different hole instead? You know what? No, that's fine. Just just keep it, because I don't want you to shit it out either, so don't do it. Sorry, no. please don't mind her. Right. All right, we're all set. Now, let's unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Mm. Our target is the true culprit who preys on the truth. All right, let's go in there. All right, let's go forward. That progressing through this mystery labyrinth uh -huh. allow us to obtain the truth. Yes. But what happens to us if we can't find it? Um, we be lost, wandering around here forever. Right. But as long as we reach the truth, it doesn't matter how much time we spend here. Mm -hmm. oh, I forgot to mention this, but there's a time limit for solving the mystery labyrinth. I'm sorry? What? That wasn't there the first time. There's a limit to how long you can stay in here. Stick around too long and your soul will leave your body behind. So I'll die. Your soul will wander until it's eventually absorbed by the mystery labyrinth. And you vanish entirely. So I would die. In other words, you die. Right, so I die. <laughs> Girl. Why are you laughing? Right. You should have told me this a long time ago. She keeping secrets. Now relax, quit whining. A detective is bound to die anyway. Yeah, not today. Isn't that right, Hellara? Oh. It's no different from our usual line of work. A detective's life is always on the line. Oh, so you just ready for this? Listen up, Master. You might learn something. Look, like Night Night is different. You're taking this awfully well, Halara. She's she's a different type of beast. She's 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 rare, one of one. Okay. All right, man. Let's get to it. It's a long walk, high key. Oh, where are we? What's hmm. this? Right. They seem to represent the four crime scenes. Hmm. I assume that solving all four will allow us to progress. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. You see? Master, this is your job. Uh, so what's first? How about starting hmm. with the clock tower, since it was the first one you investigated? Hmm. If the numbers are set chronologically, then the clock tower would be, the, be the last one. That would be the last one. Right. I want to do the first one, because I want to see where it started at. So let's look at the first one. The clock tower crime scene is the fourth locked room. Okay, okay, so okay, so now they're, they're telling me no, I can't look at it. So fine, I'm gonna go ahead and look at this one. Are you going to the fourth locked room? Bitch, you talk? I did. Okay. Um. Yes. I I didn't think that the dolls were gonna speak to me. <laughs> All right, here we are. Hmm. This is an exact replica of the clock tower crime scene. Shinigami, you didn't recreate it with your powers, did you? No, hmm. I can only do that when I hit you so hard in the head, you almost die. And you didn't do that. It looks to me like the crime scene materialized in the labyrinth on its own. Probably because I saw it so clearly. The fourth locked room is the latest chronologically, correct? Yes. That's right. And this is also what got me involved in the mailman killings. What are mm. the details of the case? Try to tell me as concisely as possible. Okay. The crime was a locked room murder inside the storage room of a clock tower. Yes, it in was. In the middle of the room was a woman's corpse covered in countless nails. Mm -hmm. Which means that's the corpse. Yeah, no shit. I, no, come yeah. on now. There were also lots of dolls nailed to the walls. Mm -hmm. It looked just like one of those bizarre crime scenes left behind by that nail man guy from the urban legend mm -hmm. and the nail man killings from the look of it the door was locked from the inside yep yeah it was locked until the body was discovered mm. there's only one window and its shutters were down as well mm -hmm. but see. it can be unlocked so the ship this is the third floor of the clock tower yep it's too high up to jump from here mm -hmm. mm. 
so it really is a locked room, Miss. Hey! Hmm. This is a locked room. Aren't we stuck in here too? For now. Oh no! Master! You're trapped unless you solve this mystery! I'm fine. Otherwise, We're good. You'll run out of time and your soul gets snuffed out! You better hurry! It seems like you're excited to take me out, Sinny. Like, what's going on? Right. Oh, I forgot she had to do that. Yeah. Okay. Gotta get the blood. And so where did the culprit flee from? Hmm. I see. So that's how to make the questions appear. Yep. I'm surprised you're so calm after seeing she, that. She's seen a lot of stuff in her days, man. I'm telling you. Okay. Where did the culprit flee from? I think that they fled. Maybe the... Because they could have fled from there and went up, couldn't they? Let's see. Huh. There is something there. Let's see. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, they can't escape from the door. Here. So it had to be the window. I was thinking the window, but then I was like, it, it's it too to much. Here. Right. Okay. I just want to see what would happen. Must have escaped through the window. Mm -hmm. And your reasoning? Mm -hmm. When I arrived at the scene, the window shutters were closed. But they close automatically and lock once it's shut. It was wet underneath the window, but I could tell it was already starting to dry. Mm -hmm. Which means the window was open not too long ago. Right. It's likely the culprit escaped through the window and closed the shutters on the way out. <gasps> Y'all, y'all, wait a minute. Okay, I just had like a brain blast. All right, so I'm feeling like the culprit is um, old girl with the arm cast because if we're this high up, say if somebody did jump out and they tried to like break their fall, right? She'd probably go like this to break it and she probably broke one of her arms coming out. The nun, the nun girl with the with that has the fox ears and stuff. She has the cast, and we was like, "Why you got that cast?" And she was like, "Oh, like not trying to answer." So it might be her. It might be old fox girl. That's my number one culprit right now. That's that's it. I'm just saying. Is it possible to close the shutters from the outside? No. Yes. Oh yes. The style of shutter mm -hmm. automatically locks. So if you let go of the shutters at the right height, mm -hmm. its momentum pulls it down. Yep. And once down, it locks all on its own. Mm -hmm. In other words, the culprit held up the shutters while moving outside. Mm -hmm. Once they let go, it automatically locked. Mm -hmm. In that case, let's try leaving this locked room in the same way. Right. Mm. Let's try it. Cause I'm thinking, oh, I'm thinking they could get out. And then, ooh, what's this one look like? Oh, Lord, it looks like him. Oh, God. Been no, it hasn't. See that peacekeeper? Yes. It's a mystery phantom. Mm -hmm. the people covering up the case in the real world are manifested like that here to stop us. Exactly. All right, here we go. The culprit really escaped from here, this high up. They could have went up to the tower. That's if what I'm thinking. Fall, up to the clock. die. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? Why don't you try a breath mint? You're too close. You're too close. Hmm. Night, night, you gonna fight him? Something? Oh, wow. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh. All of us falling. Oh my god. Don't drag me down with you. Right. All right, uh oh. Okay, press the correct button when you think you have the correct answer to the questions the mystery phantom throws at you. Attacks are gonna keep coming, but be careful you take damage if you avoid all assailing assaults. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's try. Woo! Yuma, the mystery labyrinth is a manifestation of a mystery, so solving it will get us out of this, right? Yes. I, I, think, I think so. so. Right. The culprit wouldn't have fallen out of the window like we did. Hmm. They would need a tool to get up and down. That's true. Uh -huh. You should have done something during the investigation. I was helping you. There was like a rope. There was like a rope. You must have seen the answer with your own eyes. There was a Try rope that big man had. Hmm. All right, let's see. All right, I got it, I got it. Okay, what did the culprit use to escape from the high location? It was like a rope. 
Okay, burnt remains of oh oh Jesus! I meant to I meant to press Y. I meant to press Y, man. Okay, I pressed X and on accident. I thought Y was on the top. Okay, I got it. 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 Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Okay, let's see. I think it's that. Yep, there we go. Hit your ass. Let's go. That's it. Mm -hmm. We found the burnt remains of that rope yep. in the incinerator at the church. We sure the did. Cooper had used that rope to escape through the window. Hmm. Okay. What traces did using the rope leave behind? It was like a little. It was like a. Oh no, not that. Shutter structure. No. Yep. There, there we go. There we go. Yep. You have to be like real fast on this. The nail that was stuck in the doll under the window had some rub marks on it. Sure did. The culprit must have tied the rope there. Mm -hmm. That's why those nails have been hammered in below the window. Uh huh. So she could go have some leverage and go down. Uh huh. It wouldn't be possible to climb down a rope simply hooked onto a window, unless you've had special training for they it. They might have. They There's might have. Amateur could manage it. That can't be how things went down. Let's see. Hmm, so what's your question case, now? It couldn't have been an ordinary rope. It must have been. It must have been. Uh, what's that? I can't hear you. So what were the rope's burnt remains originally? Ah, Jesus! It says safety blind rope ladder or a belt. A rope? Maybe a rope ladder? Am I dead? Okay, 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 there we go, there we go. Okay. Oh, no, no, I am dead. Oh, my God. Oh. Am I dead? Ow. Oh, I'm alive! Uh, I think. Okay. Yuma, are you okay? Okay, so that was right. Yeah, thanks. Woo! You saved me, Halara. Oh, my Correct. goodness. It's all thanks to me. Okay. Money well spent. They, this game is throwing me. It made me think that I was like dead. I thought well, I was wrong. It was a lot of money. Hmm. Come on. Are you two just gonna keep staring at each other all day? Let's get out of this locked room. Yes, please. Right. <laughs> so this is the rope ladder in question. Uh huh. It certainly would help you escape. Yes, it would. That person came out like the that. The details of the case are still unclear to me. Mm hmm. Was this found in the church's incinerator? That's right. Mm -hmm. It didn't concern me at the time, but it makes sense now. The rope can be folded in the middle, mm -hmm. and then the ends can be connected together. And that's, that's how crazy. they made a rope ladder. Hmm. What makes you so sure it was used here? The nail under the window showed yep. signs of friction from a rope, mm -hmm. and it had some yellow fibers on it. I'm glad I remember that, too. A clergy member showed me the rope's burnt remains, and there were footprints on the ground below the window of the mm -hmm. clock tower. The right when the they wall. came down. Mm -hmm. Thinking about it now, these were clearly signs that someone climbed down the rope ladder and landed there. Yup. Wait, wasn't the rope ladder hitched on that nail? How did they get it down from the bottom? The culprit hmm. could have cut it one rung at a time as they descended. Oh, wow. And by the time they reached the bottom... Huh, then it let go. It huh. would have been one long single rope, which they could easily pull down. That's kind of insane. That's kind of insane, like for a serial killer. Like it is. <laughs> the window shutters fell into its weight and locked automatically, completing the locked room. Hmm. Yep, that's a stellar deduction. Major props. There we go. So we got that. <laughs> oh, here you go. What? What? Here we go again. Get your ugly wig the out of here. Use that rope ladder to escape the clock tower. Mm-hmm. What of it? They sure did. Right. That doesn't change our verdict at all. Uh-huh. The watchmaker is the culprit. There's no way. Boom, kill the mystery phantom blocking your path. Right, let's do it. Let's get him out the way. Let's get him out the way right now. Cause he being stubborn. He being stubborn. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to take that wig off. Look like a weed. Look like a big weed in the grass. All right. So let's see. Clock tower fear of heights. These okay, 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 okay. Yours are unnecessary. Hmm. It's clear who the culprit is. Uh huh. The watchmaker was nearby at the time of the crime. Uh-huh. He sure was. The watchmaker was also at the sea. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, crap. 
Okay. And he had a hammer for the nails. Uh-huh. In other words, he committed the crime. No, he didn't. After committing the crime. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn, I need a duck. He created that locked room. Hmm. And escaped via the rope ladder. Uh, no. I mean, rebuttal, rebuttal. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go. He has a fear of heights. He has a fear of heights. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Woo! I almost missed it. <laughs> the watchmaker is afraid of heights. Right. He couldn't even look out the windows as he went up the tower. No way he climbed a rope ladder that high up. Exactly. So it's impossible for him to have committed the crime. Mm -hmm. He's not the nail man. And he don't match the shoes. Damn you. Yeah, you thought we forgot, huh? You thought we forgot. Right, get your ass away. Come on with little evidence. The first dude had more. The first you dude put up more of a fight. these mystery phantoms try to cover up the case, right? They sure Which do. Which means the peacekeeper, Seth, is trying to do just that. Exactly. I don't know why, but it's clear the peacekeepers are involved with this case. Hmm. Perhaps it is connected to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. That they suck at their job? What is All it? All the more reason to seize the truth. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Right. Jeez, who's the protagonist here? Right, she's giving main character energy, and I kind of like it. <laughs> I want to be like you. By the way, Yuma, about your sword. Does it only work on cues and mystery phantoms? The sword um, blade works against anything in the mystery labyrinth. So don't cut your allies by mistake, master. Oh, I won't. You could have told me that sooner. Can right. I use that sword? Oh? oh, so sorry. Only master is able to use it because he made a pact with you. Night Knight is so ready to fight somebody. He be under the effects of coalescence. But you're just an extra here, Hellara. Huh, so, <laughs> no, nope, you can't use the solution blade. I was hmm. merely curious. Right, was that I was just asking. It's best I act as support, since I don't have any memories of what happened. Mm -hmm. Let's return to the case. There Assuming we go. Assuming the watchmaker isn't the culprit, do you have any notion of who is? I feel like I do. Hellara, during the investigation, you claimed one of the people at the church is the culprit. Mm -hmm. I think I understand the reason why now. Hmm. That rope was found inside the incinerator, which only clergy members could access. Exactly. In other words, whoever tried to destroy the evidence is a member of the church. Yep. <laughs> Prompt and logical. Mm -hmm. I am quite. I impressive. feel like it's Miss Fox Girl. Wait, you're tooting your own horn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I think like it's Miss. I think it's Miss Fox Girl. I think. I think. I think it is. I don't know. Let's see. A hmm. treasure chest. Can I open it? Okay, Check well, you already did. A new salute. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh. only clergy members have access to incinerator. Mm-hmm. I think it's old Fox Girl. That's what I think it is. Okay, so we burn that tree down. We're back to the original spot. So hmm. we cleared the first route. Yeah. We just need to keep this up and go through each shrine one by one to gather clues about the culprit, mm -hmm. which supposedly leads to solving the real life case. I'm starting to understand how the mystery labyrinth operates. See, Halara is quick. Okay, she she figuring it out fast. fast. Right. Unlike a certain master I know. Took him forever. You're so okay. impressed. Why don't you just sign a pact with Halara? Oh, you getting no. jealous? Right. <laughs> you are the jealous kind, aren't you? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. We're short yes, on time, you are. aren't we? Let's move on. Mm -hmm. Right. I can't wait to reap the culprit's soul. Of what course do you, you can. Next? You can choose whichever you want, hmm. so why not start with the one you're most confident with? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. I like to do stuff in or You know what? Since we were looking, let's go with one. I want to do that one. The first locked room happened six months ago in a secret club in Kamasat. An old geezer yep. was nailed to the wall in an underground casino. Sure if was. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Let's do it. Are you going to the first locked room? I don't like when you talk to me. Stop doing that. Um, yes, let's go. <laughs> I don't like when she talks. Stay silent. <laughs> hmm. Oh, did we get trapped inside a locked room again? This is going to happen a lot, Shinny. Okay. If the mystery isn't solved, then I won't escape this place. Don't worry. <gasps> Trapped in a cramped room with these two. Uh, sounds kind of fun, actually. I was about to I say. I have no intention of playing along with your fantasies. Yuma, hurry up and take care of this. She said we ain't got time for all yeah, that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, let's do it. 
Now, what's the question? Where did the culprit flee from? This is hmm. where I used Talaris Forte with my coalescence for the first time. Post coalition yep. allowed us to see the crime scene as it was in the past. Mm -hmm. Some things were obviously different. Mm -hmm. Those are most suspicious. So, where did they flee from? Let's see. Let's look around because they could they could go through a vent, but you have to be kind of small. Um now the door is over there. There's nothing there. So the only way that they could have escaped is right there. Here. So yeah. I know. What about the vent? Mm-hmm. You believe the culprit escaped through the vent? If they're small enough? Yes, I'm sure of it. Right. When I saw the crime scene with your post cognition, the screws on the four corners of the vent cover were removed. Mm-hmm. Which means the culprit must have escaped from there. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, here you go. Oh, my God. You and your wig. Oh, my goodness. Uh, how ludicrous. What you got to say now? You're saying the culprit escaped from the vent? Yes. That's impossible. Master, how? Poking full of holes until he's a makeshift golf course. Exactly. Got all that turf on your head. She said he got all that turf on his head. Don't worry. I got it. I understood the shade. <laughs> Let's see what I, okay, the door key, the nails beneath the vent. That's the one I want. Okay. Oh, okay, let's dodge that. They used the vent. Yes, they did. Oh, where, where are you going? Wait, oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Impossible. Let's see, I didn't know how I could dodge Think that one. where that vent is. Mm -hmm. Isn't it pretty high up? It sure is. There's no way you could get there. Uh-huh. Even if the cover was removed. Uh-huh. Okay. There's no foothold to use to reach it. Oh, 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 oh. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. There's some nails. There we go. Get his ass. Some of the nails stuck in the bottom of the vent were bent downward. Mm -hmm. The culprit used the nails driven into the wall as footing to reach the vent. Exactly. The weight caused the nails to bend. Exactly. Get your ass on. Get your ass on. Wig. Boots. Let's go. So you're forced to fight this way every time. Yes. Quite the test of endurance. Yes. Yeah, no kidding. However, solving the mystery itself was simple. Mm-hmm. The nails were used as footing to escape through the vent. Did you find yep. that out using my post cognition? Yes, yeah. I did, so thank you. Without your help, this case would have been impossible to... You'll never be considered a full-fledged detective until you can handle a case like this on your own. And you know what? I'm sorry because last episode, I was I was doubting everything and suspecting everyone, and I thought that Halara was one of the suspects because of the paint spilled on the floor that happened to match her boots and her coat and everything. So I'm so sorry, Halara. <laughs> sorry. You got lectured again. Sucks to be a rookie, huh? Hmm. Anyway, let's head out. We'll use the nails on the wall as footing, just like you deduced. Yeah. Right. Let's hurry. And climbed right on top of that man's body too. They climbed on that man's body and the footing and got out. The mystery labyrinth. Such a bizarre place. Mm -hmm. I must ask, is there no way to escape besides solving the mysteries? Hmm. You mean like in the emergency exit? I don't think so. Unfortunately, I don't think that exists. Right. An emergency exit, huh? Well, there is one, kinda. Oh, you gonna let there me know is? about it? That right. It doesn't solve anything. You'll just go right back to the mess you came from. Oh, so you basically restart. Besides, to use the emergency exit, you'll have to pay a heavy, heavy price. My life? And... Don't worry about it. It. Using it here wouldn't help anyway. My life? So, never mind. Just concentrate on solving the mystery. Okay. God. She's holding God. stuff. I don't like when she holds stuff in like that. I don't like that. All right, let's go. Let's get the next one, man. She holding stuff in. All right, let's look at this. There it is. Another treasure. Mm-hmm. So, who's going to open the treasure chest this time? How about... Uh, Whoever looks like they'd win a character popularity poll. I think Night Night might win that. Oh, that's me. Oh, girl, come right. on now. 
Another solution key. I don't even know why she asked. Like she's gonna just open it up every time. Like a it thin looks like person. Another clue leading us toward the culprit. Mm -hmm. hmm. Someone thin. I think it's old Fox Girl. I really do. Culprit used those nails as footing. They would have to be nimble. And they put a heavy emphasis on thin, so it can't be the big boy. Like that's what they're saying. <laughs> and given the size of the vent, mm -hmm. only someone thin could fit through it. Yeah. So the culprit must be thin. Uh huh. We're narrowing down the possibilities quite nicely. And it's bad because they're saying like, oh, the person got to be thin. So we're narrowing down the, the culprits. Meaning that we exiting out big boy. Like, it's like they're just saying it in so many different ways. <laughs> Eat it up, master. This is all thanks to my training. Mm-hmm. All right. Down with that one. We kind of did that one a little fast. We get, we get in the hang of this. All right. Let's keep going and solve the remaining locked rooms. All right, let's go to number two. Might as well just keep going in fashion. All right, let's do this one. The second locked room mystery mm -hmm. occurred three months ago in that mansion. Mm -hmm. The corpse was inside the study, and the room's key was found underneath the corpse. Yep. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Let's do it. Are you going to the second locked room? Stop talking to me, girl. I don't like this. I don't like this. Stop it. You could just like let me in. If I'm coming to the tree, just let me in. That's it. There are dolls nailed across the room. The victim is nailed down in the same manner. Mm -hmm. And the culprit was also missing from this room? Yep. It shares common traits with the other nail men. And hmm. we're trapped again. Looks like you gotta solve the mystery of this locked room or we're not leaving. Look, I'm getting used to it I'll by try. now. Let's go. We're gonna do it, Yuma. Let's do it. All right. So now, where did the culprit flee from? The door was locked when the corpse was found, and the only mm -hmm. key was underneath the body. There are no windows that could have been used to escape. Uh huh. And the vent is too small to fit through. But I saw some bookcase stuff. So how did the culprit escape from here? It might be the bookcases because I saw something. It was like over there. It was like one of the bookcases had like a configuration. You know? And let's see, uh Hmm. See now if I press this, I feel like it's gonna be wrong. Yup, look, see? Knew it. Alright. What if That's a cliche contraption? Okay. Okay, so they're saying what I thought was to do with it. So they're saying that what I thought was not right. Okay, so Oh, I thought it was like a like a little button underneath. Okay, never are mind. Are you curious about the doll? Sorry. I'm sure your instincts are correct, but that okay, has nothing to do with it. I understand. Okay, okay, goddamn. All right, all right. Um, let's see. Uh, where did they flee from? I don't know. Maybe underneath the desk. I'm guessing. Let's see. That's it. Nope. Okay. All right. I'm just getting more and more dead. All right. It doesn't appear that you so there's no speak. gimmick. Oh my God. How did they get out? There? They swam out? Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> okay. Um, through the vent up there? Shit. Okay. The door was locked. The key was underneath. Can't be the door. It cannot be the door. It cannot be the door. Bruh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna just die. I'm gonna just die this round. So not there, not there, not there. Here. Bitch, it's the door. This has to be the spot. Are you serious? How? How? Explain no, this to me, because I really don't know. The culprit had to have taken this door to the hallway. Right. Uh, there's nothing special about that. But there's no other possibility. There isn't another entrance. That's what I was thinking exit. too. But the door itself was locked and the key was found under the corpse, right? Right. After locking it from outside in the hallway, how did the culprit enter the room and put the key under the corpse? Try That's it. what I'm trying to figure out. Everything must be verified. Hmm. It, sure. Okay. So how did they... How? After committing the crime, the culprit went out to the hallway with the key in hand. Uh-huh. They then locked the door. Got it. Assuming that's the only way to create this locked room, the problem is... The key being underneath the body. What are you going to do with that key in your hand, master? Hmm. Don't tell me you still have no 
idea. I don't. Oh, hold on. Let me think this over. We should go back inside for now. Right. And it's locked. Oh, wait. It locks. Well, looks like huh. we're locked out. It locks upon closing. Huh. Uh oh. This is bad, Master. You better hurry or you'll fall into the abyss. Hmm. Oh, don't calm down. You just need to solve the mystery. Doing that will open the path. Huh. You can do it, can't you? I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying. Yes. I'll try. Okay. Um. We have to put the key back in the locked room, right? Right. In that case. Throw it through the vent. Because of the culprit. Okay. Throw in. Yeah. Let's throw it in. The key could be slid through the gap in the vent cover above the door. Yes. And if they manage to throw the key right under the corpse from here. But how's it underneath the corpse? That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's not underneath. That's next to it. That's why I'm confused. Okay, so we got that. It stopped. Hmm. But nothing happened. The door is still closed. Hmm. If it was wrong, a trap would have activated. So we're on the right track about the key being thrown in. But hmm. there's more to it than that. If you simply threw it in, it'd be impossible to position it under the corpse. Right. I see here. So this is the vital clue for this locked room. Oh. I'm beginning to understand what happened here. But this might have to do with, okay, remember that we saw his blood, right? His blood, and I think it was his body. I don't, I don't know if I'm confusing it with the other corpse. But with his body, the blood was going downwards as if he was hanging, like, on the wall, right? But then another time, his blood was, like, going downwards as if he was nailed to the floor. So he might have been nailed to the wall first and then how i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know where i'm thinking i'm not, i don't know where i'm going oh, lara have you already solved the trick to this locked you haven't mm. hey, no girl you want to get and tell us or just me you can whisper it in my ear right if you want information from me you'll have to pay a fitting price in Xi'an. how are can you stop can you like of stop course. taxing I don't work for cheap. I got you it. You really are a devil. Trying to take money from a death god, huh? Right. He was definitely tossed inside. But that doesn't explain how it got under the corpse. Right. So, how did the culprit pull off that trick after tossing the key in? Hmm. Maybe the corpse was moved. moved. Right. That would explain how it was on top of the key. Because look at the blood stains. They're two different patterns. But... How do you move a body from outside a locked room? No, oh, Lord, here you go. Here he goes. Aww, the way's completely blocked off. Mm -hmm. But the only things here that can block our progress are mysteries, right? That's yes. true. So we just need to solve the mystery. Okay. All right, all right. What's the next question? At least give me hmm. heads up first. Right, she keeps just Says, getting his blood. How was the corpse moved? I've hmm. been trying to figure it out for a while, but I feel like I need more info. Huh? Hmm. If you look at the evidence, you'll understand what tool the culprit used to pull this off. Tool? Oh, tool? that's all the advice I'll provide. Girl. You must figure out the rest yourself if you wish to be a true detective. Girl, like, what do you hear? She always says she's gonna assist me, but she'll, she'll only assist me if I pay her. Like, that's it. Yeah. Got it? You just want the mystery solved for you, huh? Hmm. I can tell, because I'm your mentor. So, I'll help you out. Okay. Are you ready? You better be. All right, let me see. Huh? Let me see the evidence. Ready for what? Right. Lay it all out, master. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that game again. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Hmm. I like doing the unscrambling ones. <laughs> All right, Shinny's puzzle game. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, the culprit used a something. Let's feed that to her. And said, what marks were there? It was like slashing marks. Well, like scratch marks, I guess. Oh! Okay, S, um, S uh, not a G. Ah. Oh, not an L. Okay, star, still, still, stern, sit, uh, star, C E E R E, then, okay. 
Not an E. String. Oh, string. 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 Okay, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. String. String. That's what it is. S R I. Where's the I? Where's the I? Where's the I? Okay, there we go. A string. There we go. Boom. Boom. Get the J. Okay, thank you. <laughs> A string. Okay. That string gonna have to be mighty strong, right? All right, well, we got it. Oh my God. <laughs> this is like the ultimate anime game. <laughs> That's right. Hmm. There was evidence of a thin string being used at the I forgot the all about that one. I really did. A thin string like a fishing line must have been used to move the body. Hmm. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Here come wig and boots. A tiny string could move a whole corpse. It had to be strong, I ain't gonna lie. That deduction is wrong. Mm -hmm. You're wrong. Arm, um, am I? Right. Listen. Hmm. The nails in that corpse's leg pierced through his body. And into the floor. But he's which hanging out first. The corpse was fixed in place. No, it wasn't. So how could the corpse be moved? At some point it had no, to be it had true. to be moved. If the corpse was stuck in place, it'd be impossible to move it. Mm -mm. Indeed. No, the blood stains. It would be impossible. The blood stains. Oh, Lord, you think so too? So I was wrong the whole time? Uh-oh. I don't think so. Don't doubt yourself, Yuma. You got it. Don't doubt yourself. Uh oh, this is the thing I gotta jump to. I gotta jump to the other things. Okay. Okay. Huh? The truth is slipping further away. All right, of let's do it. Of course it is. Because your deduction is wrong. Is it really? <laughs> you people will never reach the truth. You people? This is the end. What do you mean by you people? Master, let's take him down first. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Tired of him. Tired of tired of boots. Hmm. Okay, mansion doll. Blood stains on the corpse. Okay. Your okay. deduction is wrong. Okay, let's move out the way. Do you have any proof that the corpse was moved? Boop. The corpse yes. was fixed in place. No, it wasn't. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to get the other solutions. Okay, blood it stains. Didn't move the millimeter. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Okay. In fact, that corpse. Uh huh. Shows no sign it was ever. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. The blood stains. The blood stains are all over the place. Yep. Back up. Back up. No. There was evidence the body had been moved. Mm -hmm. The upper and lower parts of the body bled out differently. The blood exactly. from the lower body flowed naturally outwards along the body's outline. Exactly. The blood from the upper body looks like it flowed in a downward like direction. Like he was hanging somewhere else. Hips. Yep. If the corpse was motionless on its back, there wouldn't be such unusual blood stains. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's safe to assume the body's position was different from when it was discovered. Exactly. Now get your ass on, Boots. But he didn't disappear, so I think he's gonna still fight. Okay, there we go. Yep, he's still gonna fight. Like I thought. What? What's this? Mm-hmm. gross! We gotta hurry and get through that door. I know. Unusual circumstances. Oh? It doesn't matter. So you had to bring back As us? long as the corpse was pinned to the floor, it couldn't be moved. You can't change the truth. Even this Are you sure? didn't work. Am I just wrong about it all? No, I'm not. No, Don't doubt yourself, Yuma. Correct. Right. The answer you've reached using the evidence is the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank, thank no you, Laura. There's no doubt fine string was used in this case. Evidence at the crime scene indicate the corpse was moved. Thank so you. So all that remains is to answer: How was the pin body moved? Hmm. That bizarre blood stain holds the clue to all of this. That's what I'm trying the to figure blood out. Blood stain? If yes. The blood stain is the clue for how the body could be moved, even while pinned. Master, hmm. we gotta chase after the door. It's getting further away. I'm sorry. This is all just very confusing. The, the, hey, wait. Uh, I won't let you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do we gotta? We gotta run from them? Oh Jesus. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, let's go. What position was the corpse in before it was moved? Okay, standing on legs, it was upside down. Upper body sitting up. Maybe it was, 
upper body sitting up. Okay, there we go. Got one. Got one. There we go. That's right. The corpse was sitting up at first. Mm -hmm. That's why only the wounds in the upper half of the body blend yep. straight down. Yep, there we go. Okay, good job, Jazz. I kind of guess on that one. Good job. <laughs> okay, this is what was used to sit the body upright. Huh, a thin string, a wall, or a cardboard box. A, a thin... Oh. A thin string? Right, this is what I'm thinking. I'm like, a thin string was the making string it? I mentioned before was thin but sturdy. But what type of string is it? Room. Holding the body's upper half in place. Uh huh. That's the reason only the corpse's neck had marks on it. Right. All right. Now let's get that last one. Let's do it. All right. I'm doing good so far. <laughs> so what was the corpse lying on its back on the time of discovery? It was moved. The string was retrieved, or the string was cut. The string was cut, maybe. Oh shit! That's wrong. Okay. 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 My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay. Okay. The string was retrieved. It was retrieved. It was retrieved. Okay, we we know now. We know now. We know now. Okay. All right. The string was retrieved. There we go. Boom. Got it. I was thinking that the, the first time, but retrieved all the string that kept the corpse in place from outside the door, mm -hmm. and with nothing to support it, the top half of the corpse fell back to the floor. Wouldn't cut the like string was discovered. Wouldn't cutting the string and retrieving it kind of be like the same thing? Like I don't know the way you look at it. All right, let's get to the door and let's get out. It appears this locked room mystery will finally be solved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh? Huh? How did that happen? Oh, Maybe that's that strange. supposed string. to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did. Hmm. Master, you know the answer, right? Let's finish this. Uh, not right. really. Okay. Recreate the locked room. How? How am I gonna do this? Okay. Like the culprit, um. Okay. So we. Okay. Got it. Inspect items following the sequence of events. Okay. 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 So let's see. To recreate the culprit's locked room mystery. Oh Lord. Okay. All right. So from Maybe the corpse. You got the order wrong. First, okay. Okay. You need to tie the fishing line down. Got it. Find a sturdy spot where it can be easy. Okay, where it could be retrieved later. Got it. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know which order I was supposed to go. Okay. The vent. First, a knot was tied through a slit in the vent. Okay, there we go. After that, the fishing line was drawn away to another location. Hmm. In terms of sequence, it'd probably be easier to start with things that are fixed in place. Let's see. So from there, it could go to... That could move. Um... Mm, the doll? That's it. Right. It passed through, through the doll's, doll's eyes. eyes. Mm hmm And that's why it has that little line passed cut. through the eye to somewhere else. Uh-huh. There we go. And then from there to there. No. Oh. There's no... You proved that you're... Okay, never mind. I thought that's what made it tilted. Okay. Alrighty. Um... So that to there? Right. The okay. Line was then passed around a certain point on the corpse. That was, huh? That was no, under the neck, under the hips. Only the corpse's upper body was upright. Yeah. Oh, never that mind. Okay, 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 okay. Y'all making me look like a dumbass. <laughs> okay. Um, under the neck. Here, behind okay. the neck. The line ends here to support it. Okay, so. All right, we got it. <laughs> now, it's clear that the line passed through the vent, the doll's eye, and ended beneath the neck. Okay. Hang on. Why put the line through the doll first? Hmm. Can't you just start by pulling it from under the body? To support the body's weight, the line needs to pass through the doll first, as it was fixed in place. Right. Next, the fishing line. Uh-huh. Okay, so the fishing line had to go to... See, now, it could be one of those two. Both of them have been moved. Let me see the painting. There are three. Oh my God! Okay, 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 okay. Y'all, yeah, every time I see Halara pop up, that means I'm wrong. Okay, so let me go ahead and do this. There are three. Never mind. That's that's fucking wrong too. Okay. All right. All right. I'm not even. All right. So it went from there to there to not there 
To where, bitch? To where? To oh, back, back to the dome. There are three. No. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The corpse itself? There are. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all want everything that's popping up is is coming up wrong. Now to return the line to the vent. Oh my god. I thought that the He's vent would be the, the last up one. Torso in place. The room has been completely prepared. So next. Next will be the door. Okay. The culprit exited through the door and locked it with the key. And then. Hmm. And then. Said, where was the key thrown in from the vent yet? The key was thrown through the gap in the vent. Right. Okay. If the culprit managed to drop the key next to the corpse. Then it would just fall the on top. The only left was to untie the line. Then. Hmm. The corpse, which was supported only by this the is line, just... would fall face up on top of the key. See, this is why I can't be a killer because I feel like this is just so much work you have to put in to make sure that you don't get caught or try not to get caught. To divide such plans like this and involve physics and engineering and all this like it's too much it's too much work that's how the culprit created the locked room mm -mm. Ray, you did it! that's my master mm. this is just too much work this is too much work for my heart i can't do this i can't be a killer the killer life is not for me obviously because it's just too much it's too much the blood stains were strange the length of the nails driven into the upper and lower body were different mm -hmm. the nails on the upper half didn't penetrate all the way through the body exactly but the nails on the lower half went all the way through and into the f that was how the mm. lower half could be secured while the upper half could still be moved around mm -hmm. it sure was tricky but you yes it was to solve the mystery behind we it. spent so much time there oh my god Okay, I'm about to say, is he about to pop up again? All right. Okay, now, Cindy, just open up the box, because we know that you're about to do it anyway. Just, just go ahead. Just go ahead, girl. <sighs> Looks like we finally made it to the treasure chest. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, don't you think that whoever worked the hardest should get to open it? Girl, just oh, go ahead. Mean, of course. Go ahead. Right. All right. This is probably another clue leading to the culprit. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how we use it. I'm not sure about this one either. Still, so it must be used for something. Hold on to it for now. I will. That one was the hardest room. I ain't gonna lie. Because I was, I was kind of confused on that one. Let's solve the rest. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Let's do number three. Number three is the last one. All right. Let's do it. Uh, girl, there we go. The third locked room was a murder that happened one month ago in the art gallery storage in Ginma district. Pictures mm -hmm. and paint were scattered all around the spot where a woman was boom killed. Mm -hmm. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Let's do it. I feel like I got the hardest one out the way. Did we get stuck inside a locked room again? See, see how that paint is exactly the same color as Halara's boots? Like, that's why I thought it was her at first. But now I'm thinking that it's Fox Girl, so she good. This was the corpse that was discovered by that worshiper and the art gallery employee at the mm -hmm. time of discovery. The door was locked and the key was nailed to a doll inside the room. Hmm. Aside from the door, the only other entrance is the window, but it opens just enough to fit a finger in. Mm -hmm. The frame itself is too small for even a child to squeeze through. How did the culprit vanish from here? Hmm. All right, let's see. Again, where did the culprit flee from? Okay, let's make an educated guess, Jess. <laughs> this is kind of hard. Okay, uh, it could be the door. Hmm, what was that? Okay, no. That's too small for any person but a child to go through. So at this point, oh, what's that? Okay, never mind. Um, hmm. Only thing is the door. I'm only thinking that. The only thing is the door. Yeah. Same thing again. I think the culprit could have only escaped from here. But how is the question? Mm -hmm. Nothing's happening. 
Maybe you made a mistake, Master. Hmm. No, that can't be right. Right. It's impossible for anyone to squeeze through that window. Mm -hmm. They could have only gotten out through the door. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the culprit had the key and locked the door from the outside after committing the crime. Mm -hmm. The culprit just used a copy of the key? Would that really be considered a locked room mystery? I mean, if the door is still locked, well, then yes. There are only two keys to the storage space. And the design makes them impossible to duplicate. Mm. I learned that thanks to you, Halara. Mm -hmm. One of the keys is always carried by that one employee. Mm -hmm. It was used when the body was first discovered, right? Yes. And the only other key was nailed through a doll onto a painting. Hmm. So, it is a locked room mystery! It is. Right? right? Oh, that's totally it. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I suppose you could call it that. I mean, it is locked. Hey, I don't know what else we call it. Can you go check outside of that window? Hmm. Oh, just like before. Yeah. Before. Yeah. Yeah. I did this you already. Made me do yeah. The same thing in the real world when we were investigating this place. I see. Mm -hmm. Then the answer has already been confirmed. Very well. This locked room is solved. Mm-hmm. Huh? Wait. Did you already solve this mystery? She's she's fast. She's fast on it. Girl, I'll stop saying that. And check outside the window. Then even you will see. Oh, what will I see? Looks like you can go outside. Hmm. All right, let's go see. What maps will see? Like, what what does she want me to see? Hey, didn't you already check this in the real world? Yes. Why do it again? Hmm. Alara told me to check it twice. There must be an important clue outside that window. Hey, let's see. Maybe the culprit threw the key in through the window. Hmm. That way, the key would be found inside. Well, let's see. How about that theory? Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. There goes the key. Huh. How would it be Is thrown this onto a nail? Key? Right. Which means. Hmm. We gotta piece it together. There we go. Okay, because of the culprit, what happened to the key? Hmm. This one's a freebie. I okay. Right. Just toss it in there, master. The culprit hmm. threw the key inside. Is and how did it land? The answer? No. Did the culprit throw the key in from the window? I don't. How? How would they? Master, hurry up and throw the key. Um, I don't think that's right. Because how would it land away. on? How would it land on the nail? That doesn't make sense. That's the right answer? Hmm. How? Didn't the culprit throw the key in there? That's why the key was found inside, right? No. no the crime scene right. wouldn't end up like that if we threw it in. If we threw it in, it wouldn't land on a nail. The key was nailed to a right. painting. That's not possible if you just throw it into the room. Unless he was like a magician. Like, I don't no. know. Right, but if the culprit didn't throw it in there, how is the key left in the room? Hmm. hmm. If you can't nail the key after throwing it. <laughs> oh, oh Lord, here we go again. Oh Lord. Okay, they brought us back into the room. Okay, cool. Okay. Who? You're back. Mm -hmm. The key vanished. Oh. The key is well, in my hand. Yeah, I have it. Master, hmm. you got the doll and nail. I see. So you're supposed to recreate the lock. Oh Lord! In the same way the culprit. Don't did. have me do it, cause y'all had me wrong Try the out. whole time last time. Doing so will create a new path. Ah oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna solve. Good luck, master. Hmm. I'm gonna die. <laughs> cause I recreated the room last time, and I got so many things wrong. Okay. You have to recreate the culprit's locked room mystery. First, do something about that doll. Okay, so for the doll, we put the doll. That's a steel ladder. Okay. Um, painting, and then sculpture with a cloth. Okay, wall with a window. Was it right there? There are a few. Okay, it was not there. Okay, it was not there. It was not there. It was not there. Okay. All right. Um, the painting. There we go. All right. First, take the painting. Mm-hmm. And then nail the doll to the painting. The culprit nailed the doll onto the painting. Right. Next, both were stood up at a certain location. Hmm. Okay. Stood up there, right? Why Fuck. Are you okay. Need to do okay. No, no. I'm thinking of the painting. Like the painting. Wasn't it on the fucking? Okay. 
Oh, okay. All right. Um. So not there. Let's see. Why are you? Not you need to do something else to the painting first. Where it could be interacted with. Okay. 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 I don't know. She'd be making me look like I'm stupid. It's not the stairs. The wall. Okay. There we go. Sheesh. The painting was stood up facing the window. Now the part with the pierced doll is right next to the window. Mm -hmm. After that. Hmm. After that. Then do that. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm gonna lose health every time. Okay. Okay, there's more stuff to do in the room. Got it. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's look. Uh I get the wrong answer every time when I have to recreate it. Yo, bruh, bruh. Then the car okay. went outside. Yeah, okay. The door was locked, and they went to the other side of the storage room. Okay. Like, how am I supposed to know what they're doing? Okay. Then they went to the window. I can see the painting and doll through the window, but hmm. I can barely fit my hand through the gap. Hmm. The doll's got a nail in it, but the problem is that key in your hand, master. Yeah. Huh. The culprit took the key and then hooked it onto the doll. No. There we go. Think about the, the key. Oh, okay, just... never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Um thrown in nailed to the painting with the doll. Huh. Yeah, a monkey with a typewriter has a higher chance of writing a literary masterpiece than that happened. Okay, girl, I, look, you said it first. Okay, nail to the painting. The culprit nailed the key to the painting along with the doll from outside the window. I was so confused because really? it already had a nail in it, so I thought that it wasn't. Okay, never mind. I don't have my thinking head on today. All right, what was the last thing it did? Okay, it knocked the painting towards the room or pulled the nail... Pulled out the nails stuck in a doll. No. I think all they had to do was just knock it down. I pushed the painting into the room. Right. Boom. It completes the locked room mystery. Mm -hmm. This is how the culprit did it. There we go. And then now we're going to see Wig. Wig is going to come soon. <laughs> oh, Wig didn't pop up? That's crazy. It took some time. But you've reached the truth behind this locked room. Thank you. You don't have to call me Throwing dumb, Pilar. the window would be obvious. Mm. So to mislead us into thinking that was impossible, mm -hmm. the key was nailed to a painting, which was then pushed over. This is so much mental gymnastics. It's one thing for an amateur, but a detective wouldn't be tricked by this. Mm -hmm. Seriously, only amateurs would get fooled by... Girl. You mean me? Yes, I'm about to say, because you definitely was about to lead me astray. You was about to lead me to the wrong way for sure i was just seeing if there's anything around here but it's not so let's continue hey, a treasure chest. just open it shinny at this Who's point gonna open this one we should let the meanest one of us open it what night night how would you decide that right okay there we go just open it <laughs> i'm the meanest we know let's check out this treasure mm -hmm. huh? what's wrong oh there's nothing there it's empty huh? oh why after all we went through to solve this locked room. This must mean hmm. solving the third locked room mystery doesn't necessarily bring us any closer to the <laughs> ultimate truth. That's terrible. I suddenly feel so tired. He wants a nap. We I get it. Quits. We gotta keep going. Mm-hmm. He wants a nap. He is tired. He's like, I did so much investigating. I already looked at these things twice. Like, come on. That's it for all the locked rooms. We mm. make a pretty good team. Don't you think so? Mm-hmm. Well, what do we do from here? I don't know. The way forward is clear. It must be due to solving all of the locked room mysteries. Mm. Now let's go. Okay. Right. How long have we acting like she's been here before? Who's supposed to be the protagonist here? Right. This place is creepy. It is. Don't be afraid to roll the dice. Hmm. You must keep pursuing the truth. Oh, I bet you do. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through mm -hmm. a perfect deduction. Isn't that right? That's right, but you're telling me yes. all these riddles and not actually telling me stuff that will help me. Like, like you already know the answer, Halara. Just like give me like a little hint or something. Something. 
That'll help me with this case, please. Oh, here we are with the culprits. Hmm. Is this some dice? What is the meaning of this? Hmm. Let me out of here. Let me out. I'll kill your ass in the name of God. Oh, we know you would, killer. I, I have nothing to do with the case. Oh, I know you I'm don't, not baby. The culprit. Let me go. You're not either. Wow, they're all here. Hmm. So now we must pick out the true culprit of this case. Hmm. The true culprit. Culprit. I think Yuma, it's Miss you Miss solved Little Girl. All the locked room mysteries before you made it here. Uh huh. You should have all the clues and evidence you need to accuse the culprit. Okay. To be honest, when I first met you, I thought you were rather pitiful. Excuse me. <laughs> you sure are honest. Right. But my opinion of you has improved. These mysteries have brought you closer to becoming a true detective. Hmm. Now tie up all the loose ends. And prove that I am not mistaken about you. With your oh, let's, magic, anything is possible. Let's hope that I'm not wrong. <laughs> All right, I'll try. Okay. Ooh, All right, so let's see. It says, who's the culprit? Figure it out and hit him with a dramatic finger point. Make the right choice and you reveal a new truth. Hmm. Okay. Huh. I already know it's not big boy because he can't fit through the vents. So it's not you. It's not it's not big man. It had to be a member of the clergy and they have to be tiny. I'm not the nail man. Hmm. Let's see. I, I'm not the culprit. But you're small too. I, uh, I'm not the nail man. How can hmm. I be the nail man? I'm not the nail man. Hmm. You're small. I, I'm not the culprit. But you're small. I'm not the nail man. Hmm. I, I'm not the culprit. Hmm. The nail man. Something in me is going between these two, and that's why. Because he's so freaking tiny. I'm not the nail man. But she's tiny too. And why is her arm broken? I'm not the culprit. I'm not the nail man. And she's wearing heels. I want to see her her body outfit. That's what I'm not the culprit. I'm not the nail man. Hmm. The C. Oh. Don't make me kill your ass. Oh, are you? <laughs> Please, girl. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it was you. I thought it was you. I guess I'm wrong. Considering all the hmm. evidence gathered so far, only one person can be the nail man. Okay, so if it's not her, then it has to be the priest because the, the priest is smaller. Man. The priest is smaller. The so him. Oh! So what's the priest? The culprit? Because I was thinking, I'm like, he's you, smaller. When father. I saw the size of them... Because I, I originally, yes, I thought that it was the, the fox girl. But I thought it was her because she broke her arm. And also, she is small. But he's smaller. When I saw them side by side, he's smaller. So that's why. What? That's an absolutely... Oh, it's you. It's you. Uh-huh. I don't know, because no, so that wig is not done and dead yet. A man of the cloth is the culprit. Yes. That's impossible. He got How the shoes to match. Right. Do not make baseless accusations. The You're tiny. Has to be someone else. No. Yuma, can I leave this to you? Yes, it's you can. It's not a baseless accusation. You're the only one who could possibly be the culprit. Exactly. Master, you're acting like a real detective. Uh huh. Go on and boom, kill him. We can do it. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh, oh, what you calling on? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at you. Look at you. You know what? Maybe it look like they can compete on RuPaul's Drag Race sometimes. Like when they do these transformations. <laughs> Given I'm trying to lip sync for my life right now. The priest. How dare you? Priest always doing fucked up shit. It says persons with access to incinerator. I'm mm. a man of the cloth. Uh huh. I don't give a damn. I don't care about that. Uh huh. So just because you're a man of the cloth means you can do nothing bad. Okay, you're still not saying anything. Okay, let's jump over that. That's it. That's your whole defense. Uh huh. No, you weren't. Let me see. The nail man is the worshiper. What? Okay. Let's dodge that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, okay, okay. The first one, the body. Okay, no, you're not. 
the mailman is the worshiper. Okay, let's get that gone and let's hit you with that. There we go. Because the only people with access are people in the clergy, so that's not him. There we go. The rope ladder used in the clock tower's locked mm -hmm. room was found in the incinerator, which only clergy can access. Thank you. The worshiper may be a regular churchgoer, mm -hmm. but he's no clergy member. Mm -hmm. So, so he's made him no one. longer a suspect. Mm -hmm. Shut up! Shut up! Mm -hmm. Ridiculous! Uh huh. You don't like facts getting hit, huh? You don't like facts getting hit, huh? Okay. Let's see. Thin person. Oh yeah, thin person. Oh, gonna be the next church is the culprit. Uh huh. Yup. This has so to be a thin I person. Am not the culprit. Okay. Let's see. There are others working for the church. Okay. Cool. But they have to be thin. Yes, there's the servant. Uh uh. Servant is too big. The Sorry. Must be the uh uh. Nope. The servant was able to commit the crimes. Nope. Uh uh. Uh uh. There we go. Servant gotta be thin, buddy. That boy is big. He got cakes on him. Stop it. Climbing up to the underground casino's window with only nails for footing would require considerable agility. Mm -hmm. Judging by the size of the window, there's no way someone of his size could have committed the crime. Yo, can we stop? Can we stop? <laughs> Not someone of his size. <laughs> no, no. Absolute lie. Yeah, we cut you down every time. Every time. Let's go. Um, let's see, the non-public information. The nun must be the culprit. Oh, why? Let's see. She's thin and also works at the church. Uh-huh. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. Mm. How do you know that? Well, she could have. I was thinking that. Huh. She used mm. the nails to climb. Hmm. Let's see what else she's going to say. Saying. What, that she's going to kill somebody? I kill your ass in the name of God. Okay, so because she says that a lot, it means it's that she's a killer. She's the no, uh-uh. Let's see. All right, so mm -hmm. this says the nailman has to be a member of the clergy and thin. If that's all, doesn't the nun also fit the bill? It says she's not the nailman. Okay, so that's why I thought it was the a nun, nun too, but um. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm, got your ass. In the mansion study's locked room, the culprit tossed the key behind the corpse with perfect With her dominant hand injured, a oh. mom couldn't have done that, which means she's not the culprit. See, I thought she got injured because of the crime that she did. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yep, got your ass. Yep, that say away. <laughs> It's not the churchgoer, the servant, or the nun. Mm -hmm. There's only one option left. Uh huh. Father, it's you. You are the nail man. That's crazy. Hey, say something quick. Oh. Otherwise, they'll pin me as the culprit. He's like, they got your ass. Um, well. <laughs> he said they got you. <laughs> he said they got I you. I don't know what to say. In service to God. Oh, but you kill people though. <laughs> Oh, oh, so we gotta fight you now. I am not the nail man. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Let's go. He don't wanna get off that runway. <laughs> what God would make you this ugly? Exactly. Oh, no proof. It's nothing but fantasy. You don't oh, really? have a single piece of hard evidence. Oh, do I? Hard evidence? Hmm. But master, you do. It's easy. Based on the Which facts, one? The priest must be the culprit. The decisive evidence that proves it is. Huh. Uh, Let's see. I don't know. Right. What do I do? What do I do? Hmm. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Girl, give me an answer instead of a riddle, okay? Listen, what is it? A detective isn't an arbiter of justice. Unraveling a case is top priority. I got that. Even with questionable methods. Hmm. What do you mean? In short, you must get them to confess. Use everything in your arsenal, even if it requires bluffing. Oh? Use... Uh, don't hesitate to use hmm. anything that might give you an advantage. Emotions okay. must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Always remember that. But she's always giving me these riddles and metaphors and phrases like, give me an answer, damn. Bluff. In other words, I should just claim I have solid evidence. Oh. What, what could I use as a bluff? Hmm. What could I use as a bluff? Hmm. 
That is a very good question. Hmm. Okay, murder case reports the suspicious footprints. Enough with your stupid fantasies. Hmm. Oh shit! I, I, oh my god. Okay. Let's see. There's nothing but a fantasy. Okay, where's that going? Where's that going? Okay, to the right. Okay. You have any proof? Yes. Yes, Did I do. Did you find my fingerprints? Mm -mm. Nope. Did you find my blood? No, it wasn't your blood. Of course there's no evidence. Yes, there is. Yeah, that, there we go. There we go. Yep. Get his ass. Yep, got that ass. Right now. You left clear evidence at the clock tower's crime scene. Mm -hmm. There were footprints left under the window in the mud. When we inspected them, we found out they mm -hmm. perfectly match your footprints. Thank you. Impossible. I already burned those shoes in the incinerator. Why would you? <laughs> right, why would you? you? Gave yourself away. Right, why would you burn them? For what? Because that's when we found the rope. Look, talking too much. Snitch on yourself. Look at that. Look at that. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. <laughs> yep, swear. talk too much. I only enacted justice in the name of looks like it worked mm-hmm good job Yuma. Mm -hmm. thanks can i war is rotten to the core oh we know to save it someone had to get their hands dirty she had to kill regular people and not the kanai people those slain with the evil incarnate that harm others that's why the people ask the nail men to kill their evil um must be punished and so i strangled them oh my god I made them suffer mm. all i did was slay evil in the name of god right okay all right we got it mm -hmm. go on ahead to hell but you sure ain't going to heaven okay <laughs> all right i don't think it's over Someone though it's somebody bad enough they give that name to the nail man. Yes. This priest went around killing those people as the nail man. Mm -hmm. The urban legend offered targets for murder. A priest is supposed to be the voice of God. Yep. But he went around killing people because someone wanted them dead. Exactly. What is awesome? <laughs> Shani, there's something wrong. We gotta look it's at you later. It's terrible. It's insane to think that he'd kill people for a reason like that. Mm. That could be said about all murders. Insane people kill for insane reasons. They anyway, do. You did it, Yuma. My expectations of you weren't wrong after all. <laughs> Is it finally over? I don't think so. I think that's oh, too easy. Nothing's happening. But last time... We had to do a big fight. Yeah. The soul of the true culprit who created this mystery labyrinth should appear. Right. And since it didn't... We're not done. It looks like this isn't over yet. Exactly. Oh. It's not over? There no. are still mysteries related to the nail man killings within this mystery labyrinth. Mm -hmm. But we solved all of the locked rooms and discovered the true identity of the nail I man. I knew it wasn't over. It was too, was too easy. Yeah. But the, the priest even confessed to it. Calm hmm. down, Yuma. There's no need to panic. Mm -hmm. If the nail man's identity is exposed and all mysteries are yet to be solved, then mm. most likely someone else's agenda is involved in this string of killings. Oh? Someone else's agenda? Mm. Meaning the nail man didn't work alone. Maybe the you mean maybe the there's nun? another culprit? Hmm. Yeah. If you consider yourself to be a detective, you must see the truth through to the very end. No so what is it? Concludes with a dead end. There is nothing we detectives cannot solve. We know that, but like, what do we All do next? Right. We have to review these killings from a different perspective. Again? For a third time? But don't tell me we're looking at it for a third time. We looked at them twice already. All right? All of them. Four of the deaths. Twice. So that means a total of eight times. We gotta look at it 12 times now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Out of the four locked rooms. If any of them were hiding a mysterious secret, mm -hmm. it would be the room that's obviously different from the others. Oh my different. god. Master, I get the feeling you want my help. Mm. Isn't that right? Huh? Hmm. Oh, fine. I can't say no to you when you're so helpless like that. Man, okay, whatever. Master, lay it all. all right, let's see. Okay, so let's look at this one. 
first locked room, second locked room. Which one is different from all the others? Let's go to the first one. No, that has nothing. Okay, you got, just, whatever. Okay, let's just go to the fourth one. No. No. Nope. Okay, got it. Yeah. We're wrong go. again. I'm whatever, man. Okay, three. Just tell me you want me to look at three. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. The game making me feel like I'm dumb. <laughs> All right. It says this locker room is different from the others because of the victims' death. The victims. The back of the female's corpse had head blunt trauma. Oh. Let's see. And then the victim was strangled, which wasn't made public. So this locker room is different from the others because of the victims. Is there a D? D. Death. I think it's death. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So let's hit D. Yup, okay. I think it's death because of their death. Yep, there we go. Death. That. Get that one! Okay, thank you. Now let's get the H. Hmm. There we go. Got it. Alright, so their death made it different. Because it was head blunt. It wasn't strangled like the others. Hmm. So let's see. All right, I kind of like doing the scramble ones. I really do. A new path's opened up. It seems to be a hidden passage. If hmm. so, then the truth should be somewhere down there. Let's go. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Hmm. I just noticed that there's hanging people there. I really did not see that the first time. Oh my god. <laughs> I was so focused on getting this thing solved. I did not know. My bad. I see. So the cause of death for the victim of the art gallery storage is the only one that's different. Mm -hmm. Right. The victims in the other locked rooms were all strangled to death. They were. They all had strangulation marks and scratches, defensive wounds. Mm -hmm. The victim in the third locked room had strangulation marks, but no signs of resisting. Hmm. There's also evidence of blunt trauma to the head, which can be considered the fatal blow. Yep. The marks could have been made after the victim died. Mm -hmm. So as to appear as if strangulation was the cause of death. The real mm. cause of death is blunt force. Trauma. Blunt force, yeah. Huh. See, like, that's so much to put in to kill somebody. Like, I can't. I can't do it. It's just too much. It's too many steps. It's too many things that you have to do. Like, I'm too... Not that I'm lazy, but I'm not putting in all that effort to kill somebody. Like, I'm not. I'm not. All right. Here we go. The different routes. Here's another obstacle. Mm -hmm. But it's likely to be an insignificant one. Hmm. You know? Let's solve this mystery and move on. Okay. What? Okay, night-night. Let's go. I like the confidence. All right, what's the question? Hurry up. Why was the cause of death made to look like strangulation? To make it look like, um, to look like the work of the priest. Huh? I said, why was the cause of death made to look like the work of a, the work of a copycat? I don't understand what they mean by the, by the answer. I really don't know what they mean. It's not a coincidence, but why was the cause of death made to like strangulation? Is it the work of a copycat or the work of the the work of a copycat? I guess. Maybe. I'm hoping that this is right because I don't understand the answer. Because I'm thinking like to make it look like the other ones. So. Yes, I don't know. The strangulation was faked. To imply this crime had the same perpetrator as the other three incidents. That's what I'm thinking. By making the crime scene as similar as possible, it appeared like the mailman was responsible for an unrelated murder. Right. Which means this was a copycat crime. Mm-hmm. I agree. Oh, you do, Halara. Okay, so this might be the right answer then. Okay, there we go. Hey. Let's get it then. Among the string of mailman killings, mm -hmm. there could be some that were done by copycat criminals. That has mm -hmm. to be why the mystery labyrinth still remains, even after discovering the mailman's identity. So mm. who is the copycat criminal? Indeed. Mm. We need to uncover this imposter's identity. Wait, why is the little boy there? I just noticed the little kid is there. Who is the copycat killer? I don't think it's, I don't think it's big man. You're Why is the little baby there? The copycat criminal? What the hell? 
I'll kill your ass. Oh, okay. All right. She's saying that a lot. Little baby ain't saying nothing. No. It's not me. I told you already. I have nothing to do with this. You're um. accusing me of being the copycat criminal? What the hell? Hmm. I'll kill your ass. I'm thinking like between okay, so hear me out. I'm thinking between the nun and I told you, you already. I have nothing to do with this. Because you worship the church and everything. You worship the priest. And so if you know the priest did it, you'd probably copy it, right? I don't know. Let's see. That <gasps> was right! You are the copycat from huh? Me? Oh! What are you talking about? I told you all about the name. I was right in my line of thinking, maybe. Hmm. And now you think I'm a murderer? Mm -hmm. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, oh yeah, he cussed this place. It's him. Your investigation is mm -hmm. shit. Oh! Oh yeah, we definitely right. We definitely right. I don't even know why the little baby was there. He looked a little more beefy than the other one, though. Hold up. <laughs> the victim's neck, the okay. Why accuse me of being the culprit? Hmm. I was just first on the scene. Okay. Why do you think I'm a copycat criminal? Hmm. It could have all been the nail man. Uh no, because he did the same way each all time. Deaths just different each time, yeah? Mm-hmm. Wait, oh wait! Oh. Damn it. Okay, I know I know what I gotta hit. I know I gotta I know what I gotta hit now. So, so I didn't I didn't die so many times. It can only be this last one. So it can only be this last one. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. Okay, there we go. Let's get this. It's non-public. Yes! Okay, there we go. I was about to say, if it's not this, I don't know what else. I don't know. The cause of death in the art gallery was blunt force trauma. Mm -hmm. Faked as a strangling to resemble the nail man's MO. Mm -hmm. The murders all being strangulations wasn't made public right away. Exactly. The only ones who knew that were those who actually set foot on the crime scenes. Hello. That includes the mailman himself, the peacekeepers, and the first eyewitnesses on the scene. Mm -hmm. Which means you. You could have committed the murder in the art gallery. Exactly. <laughs> yup. Yup. You. You don't run away, no way. Don't run away. Master, after him. Right, let's just follow him. Let's just do it. For the first on the scene to also be the culprit is rather cliche. Mm hmm. It is. Always suspicious. That's what I was thinking. I was like, why is he always at the start of the scene? Connect the dots. We didn't have enough evidence to he point at him, though. He was fascinated by the nail man. Mm -hmm. And by studying him, he eventually knew more about him than anyone else. And that's how. Ultimately, he became the nail man. Of course he would. That's so it's cliche. It's ironic that he exposed his own crime by knowing too much about the other ones. That's so cliche. It Master, is. the truth is right there. My radar is banging like crazy. Mm-hmm. Banging? All right, this is the big face off. Here we go. Go away! I won't let you. You have the truth. You won't let Looks me. Like it's gonna happen either way. Final stage. Right. If we make him submit, we'll completely solve the mystery labyrinth. Mm -hmm. Monster, don't let your guard down. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> like that's gonna scare me. Come on now. Let's go. Come on, Cindy. Get big, baby. Come on, Cindy. Get big, baby. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I thought this would have had, you know, Night Night on with him too. All right, God, Shinigami, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this, Master. I love how she be running these heels. <laughs> kick, tackle, kick, 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 kick. Okay, okay, tackle. We tackle it. Okay. There we go. Okay, jump. There we go. Okay, we kick that. 
All right, kick that. Boom. It didn't tell me which ones I had to do. Okay, there we go. Boom. All right, kick that. I mean, tackle it. That's what I meant. Tackle. All right. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, I did. Destroy the wall with a solution key. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see the solution keys. Um, let's see. Uh, there, there we go. Mm-hmm. There we go. We use her forte to see it. Thank you. Thanks to Holara's forte, we were able to see what each crime scene looked like at that time. Yep. My power allows me to see the moment the first witness saw the crime scene. Which was your eyes. Not the culprit, not the victim, but how it appeared when a third party first entered. Exactly. Who's cognition to gather all the evidence? Mm-hmm. There we go. We ain't stopping this train. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Let's jump over that. Boom. Yeah, because that's not going to do anything. Thank you. Nope. 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 Let's go. Nope. All right. Let's get that out of here. Bye. Yep. Mm. Boom. Oh, you do. You will. Uh huh. Let's go. Please. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. You're never gonna find the culprit. Oh, I won't. What let's you see. Saw is only what I saw the moment the corpse was discovered. Okay, so what? To destroy the fortress with a solution key. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, it says, um, not that. Um, only the people who enter the crime scene know this fact, the culprit and the first discoveries. It's non-public information though. Hmm. Oh yeah, that was there. Huh. Yeah. Polaris post-cognition showed us that the paint can at the gallery storage entrance had been knocked over. Exactly. And according to the art gallery staff member's testimony, that was your doing. Uh-huh. You went into the crime scene first. And the art gallery employee behind you noticed you knocking over the paint can. Mm -hmm. But Polaris postcognition only shows the scene when the corpse is first discovered. Hello. So if you were the first person to find the body, the scene before the paint can fell over would have been recreated. Thank but you. It wasn't. The paint can had already been knocked over when the corpse was discovered. Mm -hmm. That means the first person to find the corpse was the art gallery staff member. Not you. Exactly. The you didn't count as the first person to find it is because you're the culprit. Yep. There we go. Get his ass, Jenny. Get his ass. It's the truth of the case. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. Get him. Cut him up. Cut him up. There we go. Big and ugly. For what? All he called people ugly. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Finish him! We will. Shove all your evidence into the solution blade and slash as hard as you can. I'm about to say shove it where? <laughs> His ass. Okay, there we go. Oh, so in this case, does the priest and the worshiper die? I wonder. Hmm. All right. Oh, this is where I got to put it all together. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so let's look. Not um, how do I change the page? Okay, not that. Uh, table of contents. Okay, let's go to one. Okay, what's that say? Wait, no, 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 no. I, I was trying to read it. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Okay, I was trying to read it. Where did the culprit leave the room from? From there. Okay, so let's see. Uh, they left the room from there. Okay, there we go. Boom. All right, now let's go flip the page. All right, this says, what did the culprit use to climb the wall? Let's see, they use, not that, uh, the nails. There we go, boom. There we go, all right, next one. Let's see, what did the culprit tie to the vent? Uh, the doll, that, the eyeless doll. Oh, wait, or, no, okay, never mind. It goes to the other one. Goes to the other one. Okay, okay. 
Okay, it goes to that one. There we go. All right, now, what did they use to tie? It was the fishing line. There we go. Fishing line goes right there. There we go, good, good, good. All right, let's go this way. Okay, where did the culprit plastic line last? Okay, that was through here. Okay, boom. Got that, good. Now, let's go this way, uh-huh, uh-huh. We got that. Now, what was nailed to the doll with that? It was the painting. Well, that, also. Let's see. All right, good, good. We on a roll, we on a roll. Next, okay, this one says, what did the culprit use to escape? That would have been the ladder. Boom. There we go. Let's keep going. We on a roll. We on a roll. Okay, for this one. What did the culprit use to destroy the evidence? This incinerator. There we go. Got that? All right. Now, now it's all coming together. Okay. And who is the nail man? Let's see. This one is you. Let's see. So let's put that there. Oh, wait a minute. Go back. Okay, boom, you're the nail man. But you had a helper that was the copycat. Okay, and that has gotta be you, the worshiper. There we go. And we're done, and we're done. Hey. Step right up, step right up. Mm-hmm. A series of locked room murders based on an urban legend. Will we discover yes. the true identity of the nail yes. man? Mm-hmm. Let's get it. To solve the mystery of this string of events, we have to know who the nail man is first. The priest. The priest. The priest is the, the killer. The nail man is an urban legend of Kanaiwar. Mm-hmm. You write down the name of someone you want dead and drive a nail through it and a doll to a tree behind the church. Yes. And the nail man will kill that person for you with a countless number of nails. There's a lot of dark people a string of in this city. Exactly <laughs> the urban legend began half a year ago. Mm-hmm. All of the crime scenes featured a corpse and dolls nailed down within a locked room. Mm-hmm. The first murder happened six months ago at a secret club in Kamasaki District. He felt like he had to be an assassin. The victim was none other than the geezer who owned the place. And the cause of death was strangulation. Mm-hmm. I heard the buy-in to place a bet was pretty steep, and cheating was rampant. So it was obviously a scummy place. And so he was like, yeah, get this person out of here. inside of a glass. And the vent that connects outside looked too high for escape to be possible. So his little ass climbed his body. The culprit used the nail right. driven into the wall as footholds to climb. And then climbed his body to get through there. Little ass. The nails that were bent downward. Mm-mm. The vent was not screwed down. Look at him just looking happy, too. So it could easily be removed and used as an escape. Mm-mm-mm. Terrible. The second murder happened three months ago. It was at a mansion near Gima District. Mm. The victim was some real estate agent who lived there. And the cause of death was again strangulation. Mm. He made a lot of money through shady real estate deals, so of course someone would be out to get him. Mm. The door to the they say ain't no way you get now rich that fast. Interests. Being a young the boy. <laughs> was underneath the nailed down victim. Mm -hmm. After the culprit escaped, look at all this he did. Sort of like you're crazy. To get the key back into the room. Like you're insane. A fishing line passed from the vent through the eye socket of the doll and propped up the upper body of the corpse. Mm -mm -mm. All that was left was to exit the room, lock it, mm -hmm. throw the key in from the vent, and boom! You got yourself a locked room mystery. That's crazy. That is insane. It's insane. The key was tossed under the victim from the vent. Once the fishing line was retrieved, the corpse's upper body fell over, completing the crime scene. Like, that's wild. <laughs> the nails on the upper body didn't pierce through completely, so it wasn't nailed down at all. The third murder happened one month ago in an art gallery storage room in Gina District. Mm-hmm. Escape's cause of death was blood force. And you're even crazier for reenacting it. Pretty lady who let her looks get to her head. And she got boom killed. Mm -mm. The key to the story. Or she might have rejected him. Maybe. A doll. Another trick was used to get the key back inside the room here. 
And it's like they be doing all this with a dead body around them. That's what's so it's insane to me. The window, and then the culprit left the room. They nailed the key to the painting through the window. Knocked it over and bam! All done! Mm. Those are the truths behind the past three cases. That's crazy. Now, there's been another murder at the clock tower in Kanai Ward. Mm-hmm. The woman's cause of death was strangulation. Mm-hmm. Since you told that kid you'd take care of it, we gotta solve this case. Oh, I'm definitely gonna save its daddy. Clock okay, I have to. Seen it's rather high up on the third floor. The door was locked from the inside, and the window shutters were also locked. Mm-hmm. But there was rainwater under the window, and the nails in two of the dolls had rub marks. Mm-hmm. In other words, the culprit must have hung a rope ladder from the dolls to escape out the window. And then try to burn everything. With my logic, anything is possible. Mm. Why are you imitating Halara? <laughs> anyway. Right, he said, let's just keep it going. The killer cut their footing on the way down from the window. Mm -hmm. That way, they could just pull on one side of the rope to retrieve the whole thing. Hmm. The shutters come down under their own weight, so they locked once the rope was collected. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised you noticed the auto-locking feature. You sure love your shutters, Master. Oh my gosh. Okay. The rope ladder was collected, then burned in the church incinerator, which only clergy have access to. Mm-hmm. That's how we know the mailman must be someone from the clergy. Exactly. But one question arose from this. Mm-hmm. Mailman killings share one more characteristic. All the victims were murdered by strangulation. Hmm. This piece of information wasn't publicized. But yet, oh boy, no. That, it was so that is insane. You're just strangling a corpse. But I already know the identity of the copycat killer. Mm -mm -mm. First, the mailman must be someone thin enough to pass through the vent. Hello? Someone with the skills to throw the key with precision. Yep. Open your eyes. And someone affiliated with the church. Mm -hmm. The priest! You're the mailman! But will him and the worshiper die? I wonder. Oh, and where are you going? Because you guilty too. And the copycat is someone who knows that all uh -huh. the victims were strangled to death. Right, we know it's you. Because yep, get scared. First witness in each case, person capable of replicating the mailman's crimes is. Mm hmm. The worshiper. The worshiper! You're the copycat criminal! Mm-hmm. Let's go, teamwork. I like that. <laughs> These cases are so hard to like guess because some of them might not even have just one person. It might be multiple, like this one. This is the truth of the case. Mm-hmm. Yep, got gotcha. y'all. That? That's it's their the souls. Truth. The soul of the true culprit who built this mystery labyrinth. Mm -hmm. I see. It looks otherworldly, but there's an ominous air around it. That's the guilty Sorry, air. Laura. I was only able to make it this far thanks to you. Mm -hmm. I only kept my part of the deal. You made the right choice hiring me. Thank but you. But I will say one thing. You've taken another step toward being a detective. Oh, a compliment? That much is certain. I... Halara Nightmare, acknowledge you. Oh, finally! Thank what, you! Really, Halara? You do? Right. There we go. Now she's willing to touch me, y'all. That's so crazy. And here oh, she goes, you're in it. What's about to happen? Oh, uh, she's about to kill. Right. Yep. Time to kill him. All right. Your time to shine, Shani. You love the attention. <laughs> bloodlust. Overflowing despair. Mm-hmm. The brilliant soul of Shigami. <laughs> Shall we sponge this cursed case? Mm-hmm. Let's go. 
Except her. The mystery labyrinth crumbles when you reap the soul of the true culprit. Mm -hmm. Then, the cause of the mystery labyrinth's creation pays the price by vanishing with it. Mm -hmm. I knew this would happen, but it still hurts to see someone die before my eyes. Not for me. You do the crime, you die. Like, like, I mean, come on. I killed them myself. For, no, not by your hand. I did kill them. I killed them with the ruthless blade of the truth. There, mm -hmm. there. Humans boom kill cows and pigs all the time and eat them. You don't feel bad about that. And she has a point. These are the souls of deranged murderers. At least you didn't need them. Right. You look at it that way. There is nothing to feel bad about at all. She has it's a not point. So simple when it comes to people dying. But they were killers, so that's why I don't mind. Kill them. Like some kind of poison? No. Hey, hold on. I have no idea what's going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, he's like, don't look at me. Uh, too much is happening all at once. We shall talk at headquarters. Why? Follow me there immediately. He is absent. Is it just me, or are things more complicated now than before entering the mystery labyrinth? Oh, hmm. you want help? Are you going to rely on me again? Yes, yes, we are. Oh, okay. Fine. I can't say no when you ask for help. Hmm. Oh? Um, Did she just take everyone? Did she just take over his body? Ah, he came back to life! Sorry <laughs> about that! You see, I'm actually the man. Oh my, my god. These are my final words, so I can't lie. Oh I'm my goodness. Man. The worshiper laying there is just a copycat criminal. Search the church for the tools used in each crime. I'm sure you'll find plenty of evidence. If oh my god. Mind, go ahead and check it out. Then... And then go back to being dead. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. I had no idea but you could do that, that either. That was a super lazy confession. Will it work? It did come from his I mouth. do it. We even have witnesses, so this case is closed. Mm -hmm. something. But I couldn't quite hear him. Oh, don't act like you can't hear him. Everyone here will be taken to Amaterasu Corporation. We heard what he said. What? Right. What effective at all? We oh, heard what he said. This is why I hate authority. Oh, my Me God. Too. Say Wait, it louder. I hear something. Oh. Huh? A motorbike. Something is heading this way at an alarming speed. <sighs> it can't be. What? <sighs> Oh, who are you scared of? Where is that coming from? Oh? No. Excuse me. No, no. What are you doing here? Oh. Oh, who are they? Who are you? Who are y'all? You dare speak so carelessly? Who do you think I am? Team Rocket? I don't know. Who defends peace and order upon my wall? Director of the Amaterasu Peacekeepers. Hmm. The Honorable Yomi Hellsmile. Hmm. Okay, so is he the next person that we're gonna have to like encounter or take down? The Peacekeepers director? Hmm. So he is the head of the Peacekeepers. Of course now he you is. know, small fry. Bow down. I'm gonna call them Team Rocket. They giving me Team Rocket vibes. <laughs> Okay, Yomi Hell Smile. Okay, it's because he smiles all the time. They have some cool designs. So I ain't gonna lie. What are you doing here? Hmm. No need to be alarmed. 
benevolent Director Yomi is here to help. Oh, hmm. excuse me for the late introduction. I am Vice Director of the Peacekeepers, Martina Electro. We figured. You're, you're holding the umbrella for him. You were some type of assistant. Okay. So, Martina Electro. All right. She looks kind of she looks kind of cute. I like her face. <laughs> She's oh. my beloved right hand. Oh. No one else gets to have her. Okay, so y'all be fucking. Okay, I got it. What's with him? Right. Master, be careful. This Yomi guy is dangerous. Hmm. I've huh. never seen anyone emit such a dangerous aura before. He be killing people like He's that? Is that bad? Right. So, what brings you here? Hmm. Oh, right. I was so focused on my beloved right hand that oh. I completely forgot. Hmm. As mentioned earlier, Director Yomi is here to help. Hmm. I hear you've been troubled by Seth's unreasonable treatment. Is that right? That's right. I'm snitching. Huh? Okay. Director Yomi. What is going on here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's being taken in? Why am I... We have discovered you've been receiving sizable kickbacks. Ooh. For facilitating donations meant for the church. Oh. We now hmm. know why you were... So desperate to clean up all the nail nails. Ah, oh, you was trying to hide up the funds After you was receiving, all, huh? It would be troublesome to lose access to all that money if the priest was arrested as the nail man. Oh, wait, please. Director Yomi, I did this under your orders. Hmm. Ha, he said take that shit away. Did you say something? Because I didn't hear a thing. Mm. I only did this because you, you ordered me to. Oh, that's how you talk without the megaphone? Seth, you make me sad. Mm. I'm the hero and defender of peace in this city. My peacekeepers are proud soldiers of that mission. Mm. Yet, you let yourself be corrupted. Oh. How could you? Oh, wow, Seth, he's crying. For the sake of the peacekeepers and the peace of Kanai Ward, mm. die. Taking oh? advantage of your position as a peacekeeper executive is a serious crime. The punishment must be severe. So are they like good? <laughs> or no? Huh. Oh wow, they really execute him. Yeah, I'm annoyed my own underling would betray me like this. Hmm. I'm so annoyed, I'd go insane if I didn't toy around with my beloved right hand. Oh my god, are you fingering her? Like it's what's going honor. on? Oh my god! He's terrible. Like a lizard cutting off its own tail to survive. Hmm. Someone like him is in charge of the peacekeepers? Right. Don't look him in the eyes. Don't talk to him either. He gonna talk if to possible, me, I already don't know. even breathe the same air as him. Though it's probably too late for that. I'm not scared of that man, well, I don't care. Then, to our shit for brains friends playing detective. Oh? Looks like I have to give you a warning. Oh, what? Know your place in my city and stay there. Follow the rules and don't disturb our peace. Or, or what? I'll need you to die. <laughs> okay, so he's insane. Got it. <laughs> In this don't city, be scared, Yuma. Director Yomi is both the law and the peacekeepers itself. Hmm. Defying us means you defy law and order. You will receive fitting treatment for such behavior. Okay. Before, you were insignificant specks of dust. But now that you've banded together, you've become an eyesore. Oh, are you Detectives scared of us? Like threatened? Oh, you know what? I should punch him right now. Wow. Don't take that. That's not very nice. I wouldn't take that. I would not take Let's that. Go. Punch him in his mouth. My beloved right hand. Hmm. Yes, Director Yomi. We gotta punch him in the mouth. We gotta do something. <sighs> Looks like we've been targeted by someone dangerous. Hmm. Yeah, thanks to you. One wrong move and it would have been all over. You got that? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but, but right. No buts. None. How did this happen anyway? Hmm. Clara, help me out. Please explain what happened. You said you acknowledged me as a detective, didn't you? But she's not your savior. What? When did I say that? Oh what? my god. That's such a shame, Master. Oh, she forgot. Gets forgotten. Oh wow. Lord, Pilara's memory must have been wiped after entering and leaving the labyrinth. That sucks, man. Nothing inside oh, man. the mystery labyrinth can be taken into the real world. 
much and memories. So she has no idea what happened. Unless you have a contract with yours truly, that is. That's but crazy. I thought Halara and I had finally reached an understanding. Back to back to the drawing board. Memories from up until you enter the mystery labyrinth are retained. Like the debt you owe for your assignment. Oh, that's wonderful. That's awful. Right. Hey, Yuma, are you listening? Better make sure this doesn't happen again. Man, I'll save your ass. Way, Chief, our submarine office is tipping over. Are you sure the peacekeepers didn't mess with it? What? <laughs> Seriously? Is it really? I have to go back and repair it. Yuma, help me out. Follow. Man, I saved y'all. Man, please. It was supposed to be time for you to reveal the solution, but we've ended up in quite the mess. Mm-hmm. Huh? Y yeah. This is my first time dealing with the true culprit dying before they could be accused. Mm-hmm. I mean... But I recall how you did your best to try and solve the case. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Night Night. Huh? Huh. So you remember a little something from there. You should be proud. Okay. Oh, Laura. Right. Look, the chief is calling for you. You should go. Hmm. All right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Aw. That's so cute. And he's still in that damn fireplace. Oh my god. Are you serious? A peacekeeper executive was taking bribes from the church? Yes, if he was. Director Yomi said so. It would be considered the truth, even if it isn't. Mm -hmm. What about the priest being the new man? It's going to be publicly announced as the truth. It appears mm -hmm. the priest's strong desire to save others turned him into the nail man. Turned him into a devil. He saw people wishing for revenge as they hammered those nails in the forest and decided he needed to save them. Mm. That was the motive, though it could all be a story made up by the peacekeepers. It's not. So what about the kitty cat criminal? The copycat you mean criminal the girl? Cop that one was already publicized as well. Mm. They say the copycat did it out of admiration for the real nail man. Mm -hmm. and in the end, he felt so much guilt that he poisoned himself. None of this really makes any sense. Oh, that sense. didn't happen. Yeah, it sure it didn't look like death by poison to me. It wasn't. It's me! <laughs> Yuma knows. That would make more sense to assume Yomi killed them somehow. Mm. Especially when you consider the timing. He'd do it without batting an eye. Yep. Yomi Hellsmile, the director of the Peacekeepers, the leader of our enemy. Mm -hmm. I heard he rode in on a dragon. Excuse me? No, it was a motorcycle. Girl. From what I've investigated, okay. the Peacekeepers' influence is gaining ground at Amaterasu Corporation. There's some sort of power struggle going on. Mm -hmm. Seems like they're getting their way internally. Mm. I hear that their boss, Yomi, is extraordinarily dangerous. Mm. Extraordinary. So he is very <laughs> How scary. She said extraordinary. I like how she broke down the word because it really does mean super normal. <laughs> it's only a matter of time until the peacekeepers gain complete control of the corporation. Hmm. When that happens, they might outright attack the World Detective Organization. Hmm. Perhaps the WDO made its move because they saw the warning signs. If that's the case, it could have something to do with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Which we probably won't know to the last oh, episode. Yeah. What's the deal with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? We still know nothing about it, huh? It doesn't mm -hmm. seem to have anything to do with the Nailman incident. I wonder what it could be. We ain't gonna figure it out to the end. Sheesh, so much to deal with. This sounds exhausting. Didn't I tell you that from the start? Mm -hmm. We have to obey directives from number one, no matter how difficult they are. Yep. <sighs> He's like, oh, I'm some done. very <laughs> talented master detectives gathered here. I'm sure it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so much. No, everything changes from now on. Mm -hmm. Yuma, you can take a seat now. He's he, oh, my legs he feel feels sorry for, for killing them. Don't stick your basically. neck out recklessly from now on, for everyone's sake. Got it? Got, Got it. Hey, we worked super hard. We did. I'm so stressed, I could die. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, but I can't die. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you must tired. You must like, I just need a nap. Do we have a visitor? Oh. That's rare. Mm. Yuma, can you go get it? Mm. Sure. Who's at the door? Let's see. Oh, the little boy. Oh, it's you. My dad Hi. is back 
I'm safe at home. It's all thanks to you. You're welcome, Thank baby. You. We're hoping. I no, I just. Hmm. Well, I'm happy for you. Why, you're welcome. Oh, look at you getting thanked. You were on your knees just a moment ago. Mm -hmm. Be quiet. <laughs> oh. There's one more thing I want to ask you. What's up, baby? What is it? Did someone else die or something? Right. Oh, you play catch with me? Oh, of course I will, baby. Come here. Yeah. Huh? Catch? But it's Go outside. Mine. I don't care. Go outside. Actually, sure. Let's play. Right. Make his day. Thank you. He needs some friends. Oh, look rain. at that. My memories still seem like faraway raindrops. My hands still have yet to grasp a single thing. Mm. I'm still lost. Is it all right for me to be here? Oh, I see you, baby. But okay. With the worn baseball gripped in my hand, my heart somehow feels lighter. Mm hmm. Why I wanted to be a detective. He's so cute. Been for the sake of something so small that it fits in my hand. Mm hmm. Maybe I should give myself credit for this small realization. You should. <laughs> Look at Finny. So that is not going just to be a girl. bit longer. I think I'll keep pretending to be a detective. You're not pretending, you are. Okay. There we go, the nail man killings ended. All right, y'all, so that is it for Master Detectives Archives Raincoat. I was about to say it wrong again. <laughs> but this was, this was a hard case to crack considering that there was like two of them. Like, so that shows me that from now on, I won't know or be able to guess the killer is probably as easy as I did in Danganronk because for that one, I was kind of knocking them down. But for this one, it's kind of hard because you really don't have all the information all at once. And plus, it could be more than one person. So I don't know. But I enjoyed this episode. I li like that Halara gave me her respect. And I wonder who I'm going to work with next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll be back with another episode of this. And some more stuff. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. And this is...